Namaste children, I am Hari Prasad, your chemistry teacher. Children, today's topic is the continuation of electronegativity. In the last video, we have discussed the definition of electronegativity and the factors which will affect that. Children, we will do a quick recall. See, electronegativity is nothing but a power or a capacity of an atom in a molecule to pull the shared pair of electrons towards itself and the factors that is going to affect these atomic radius and nuclear charge and the relation between electronegativity is something like this children in the previous video the smaller atom pull the shared pair of electrons with greater force or the bigger atom pull the electrons with greater force obviously the smaller atom so conclusion from this one is the smaller atom is more electronegative when compared to the bigger atom so the relationship between atomic radius and electronegativity is what relationship children? Inverse relationship. That is, as the atomic radius increases, the electronegativity is going to what? Decrease. So, in the same way, as the atomic radius decreases, the electronegativity is going to what? Increase. Then, the relationship between nuclear charge and electronegativity, what is that? See children, nuclear charge is nothing but the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. As the number of protons increases, the shared pair of electrons are pulled with greater force. So the electronegativity will what? Increase. That is, as the nuclear charge increases, the electronegativity also increases. This relationship, we call it as what children? Direct relationship. Now children, the next question. How this electronegativity is going to vary what? Across the period. Okay, we'll see that. Now children, to understand this, we have to consider the elements of any period. Now we'll consider the elements of which period children? Obviously sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. Children, these are the elements of which period? Let me write the electronic configuration. 2, 8, 1. 3 shells are there. So these elements belong to period 3. So chlorine configuration is 2, 8, 7. Argon is 2, 8, 8 children. Now children. So... One factor is atomic radius and the next factor is what? Nuclear charge. Now children, we all know that when you go across the period, right? Children, if I hold the hand like this, it is nucleus and this is the outermost shell containing electrons. When we go across the period, the atomic radius is going to what children? decrease right now as the atomic radius is going to decrease then obviously the electronegativity is going to what children increase so in that case out of these elements the smallest atom is which one chlorine not argon we all know that noble gases are always bigger than what right halogens so, chlorine is the smallest atom and sodium is the biggest atom. So, in that case, according to this relationship, the element that is having a maximum electronegativity will be chlorine. Right, children? Now, nuclear charge is one more factor that is going to affect electronegativity. Children, we all know that 2 plus 8 plus 1 sodium has got 11 protons. Then how many protons chlorine has got? 17 protons. So when you go across the period, the nuclear charge is also increasing. So as the nuclear charge increases, common sense says that the electronegativity also increases. So in that case, out of all these elements, which is the element that is having a maximum electronegativity? Again, it is chlorine okay so theoretically chlorine is the element that is having a maximum electronegativity now we'll just cross check 
whether whatever we have discussed is right or wrong. Children, again I am telling you before we write the values right, these values I am writing just to make you understand. So no need to remember this for the board exam. Okay children, please observe the board. Now electronegativity of sodium is 0 0.9, magnesium is 1.2, Aluminium is 1.5, Silicon is 1.8, 2.1, Sulphur is 2.5, Chlorine is 3.0, Argon, Argon why no values, first Argon is not going to combine with anything, see then there is no question of electronegativity, so for electronegativity we have we want a molecule, in that molecule which atom is more electronegative, right, that's what we are discussing. So, this is not combining with anything, so no values. Now children, according to our discussion, right, smaller the size, greater the nuclear charge, that should be having a maximum electronegativity. Uh, yes, yes, the values are also right, boss. Chlorine is the one that is having a maximum electronegativity of 3.0. Now the question arises, why chlorine is having a maximum electronegativity? Because of its smaller size and its greater nuclear charge. So conclusion from this one is the one with the least electronegativity is sodium and the one with maximum electronegativity is chlorine because of its smaller size and greater nuclear charge. So across the period the electronegativity is going to what? Increase. Why? Because of what? Increase in nuclear charge and decrease in atomic radius. So in this period, chlorine, which is halogen, is having a maximum electronegativity values. Okay, children? Children, I think we'll stop here. How the electronegativity values are going to vary when you go down the group, these things we'll discuss in the next video. I hope you have understood these things. Thank you, children. Namaste, everybody.